If I had a gun with two bullets and I was in a room with Hitler, Bin Laden, and Toby, I would shoot Toby twice. No. Oh. That's yeah. not, okay. You were All right. being really funny and then you went too far. I would kill Bin Laden and then Toby. No, that's it's still, it's still... Mike, you're a very brave man. I mean, it takes courage just to be you, to get out of bed every single day knowing full well you got to be you. Do you really mean that? I couldn't do it. I, I ain't that strong, and I ain't that brave. That's fat butt disease. That's what you suffer from? Yeah, no. fat butt disease, Mike. No. Excuse me, sea monster, you weigh like a thousand pounds. Yeah? Yeah. I bet you'd like to swim with this sea monster, wouldn't you? Ryan! Dude, please, tell your girl to shut up. What? Kelly, you insulted the gentleman. Please, apologize. Okay, wow, easy booster seat. Nobody cares about this party anyway. Is that a palm tree, or did Gabe get skinnier? Either way, let's pee on it. <laughs> 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 Ladies and That's gentlemen, great. I think we have a winner. Yeah. yeah, well done. Whose is it? Who wrote that? Yeah. Who wrote Please. It was easy once I decided I wanted the dog to piss on Gabe. Has anyone started calling you Gabe Wad yet? Not here, no. Gabe Wad. Okay, Ryan, you told Toby that Creed has a distinct old man smell. I know exactly what he's talking about. I sprout mung beans on a damp paper towel in my desk drawer. Very nutritious, but they smell like death. Hey, um, what has two thumbs and hates Todd Packer? This guy. Toby is in HR, which technically means he works for corporate, so he's really not a part of our family. Also, he's divorced, so he's really not a part of his family. You know what? If we come across somebody with no arms or legs, do we bother resuscitating them? I mean, what kind of quality of life do we have there? I would want to live with no legs. How about no arms? No arms or legs is basically how you exist right now, Kevin. You don't do anything. No one uh, asked you anything ever, so whomever's name is Toby, why don't you take a letter opener and stick it in your skull? Hey. Your boyfriend is so weak, he needs steroids just to watch baseball. Jim couldn't hit a ping pong ball if it was the size of the moon. Were Jim's parents first cousins that were also bad at ping pong? What about the lady you hit with a pine cone? There, that chubby one. I just had a baby. Yesterday? Wow. Apologize. Sorry I kicked your ass in front of your thin girlfriend. How about we wait till next year after you have your kid? You know what? Tiffy's going to college. Everyone, come on up here. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. You almost killed Stanley. Yeah, right. I filled him full of butter and sugar for 50 years and forced him not to exercise. I don't know you, but I need to know you in order to sell to you. That is why I have asked you to go around and tell me your names. I have an amazing mnemonic device by which I have now memorized all of your names. Shirty, Mole, Lazy Eye, Mexico, Baldy, Sugar Boobs, Black Woman. I have taken a unique part of who you are and I have used that to memorize your name. Baldy. Your head is bald. It is hairless. It is shiny. It is reflective like a mirror. M, your name is Mark. Yes. What about that fat guy from Stanford that I insulted? We should find him. You mean Tony. Jabba the Hutt, Pizza the Hutt. Fat guys like pizza, pepperoni pizza, pepperoni Tony. I'm gonna randomly select three names, and these three people will get liposuction. Uh, Stanley, Phil is Kevin. And you will be responsible for your own medical bills. I've never met Ravi personally, but I'm gonna go ahead and say just having knowing you a short while, Brian, that I prefer Ravi, and again, I've never even met the guy. I don't really see what the problem is. Aaron doesn't even like sex. Remember, you said it feels like getting tackled by a skeleton. You pathetic, short little man. You don't have any friends, or any family, or any land. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. Toby, why don't you open your present? Mm, no, 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 no. Oh. No, this, hey, 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 this might not be what I think that I don't even know is in there because there are a lot of presents in my car and I don't know which is which. Suck on this. 
It's only Meredith. Yeah, it's only Meredith, thank God. I can't believe they're gonna fight over me. I guess people have fewer choices as they get older. Look to the intern on your left. Now to your right. One of you will do exceedingly well in business, just unlimited potential. One of you will make a living and nothing more. And one of you will make a great mother. Some guy exposed himself to Phyllis in the parking lot. Really? Is she okay? Yeah, Bob Vance took her for a walk to calm down. Okay. <sighs> Phyllis, you say? Hmm. <sighs> what is so funny? Um, I mean, did he even see Pam? Or, uh, Karen from behind? <laughs> oh, I, um... Close your mouth, sweetie. You look like a trout. In the Martin family, we like to say, looks like someone took the slow train from Philly. That's code for check out the slut. Dad, go to hell, I'm taller than you! You look great. Thank you. Thank you. Scranton suits you. Best decision I ever made. You were let go. You know what, love the beard. Keep it forever. Hey. hey. Gabe was born in 1982. He ah. was the longest baby in the hospital. He's the longest baby in this room. Come here. Yo. Game on. On it. Oh. <laughs> you can't do that. I know what I was thinking. It was <laughs> awful. Awful. Jessica, did you just fart? You know what? You clearly don't care, so why don't you just leave? I would like to stay. This pertains to me. Why don't you go outside and... Take a shot of insulin and have a nap, okay? Why do you always assume I have diabetes? I don't know, your frame, your build. Why don't you have a glass of apple juice and tell me you're not a diabetic? <sighs> See, I could tell by the sound you made when you stood up that you have, okay. Just to show you that I'm being fair, you had Gabe in the loser column. I think that is astute. Can I just say that of all the idiots, in all the idiot villages, in all the idiot worlds, you stand alone, my friend. Hello. Hey. Hi. Good to see you. Here. What did I'm um, just having a little exit interview. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here. Um. No, no, no. This is very boring stuff. Why don't you take a tour? Have oh. you seen the bailer? No, no. I, I'll look at it later. It's part of my job. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> did you need me to take notes? Hey, Pam. Stay. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, well then, I will proceed. I just have some questions that I was gonna ask. Um, who do you think you are? And I, I just had some thoughts that I wanted to share with you people. What? Well, I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. <clears throat> Jim, you're 6'11", and you weigh 90 pounds. Gumby has a better body than you. Boom, roasted. Dwight, you're a kiss ass. Boom, roasted. Pam, you failed art school. Boom, roasted. Meredith, you've slept with so many guys, you're starting to look like one. Boom, roasted. Kevin, I can't decide between a fat joke and a dumb joke. Boom, roasted. Creed, your teeth called, your breath stinks. Boom, roasted. Angela, where's Angela? Well, there you are. I didn't see you behind that grain of rice. Boom. Roasted. Stanley, you crush your wife during sex and your heart sucks. Boom. Roasted. Oscar, you are... <laughs> Oscar, <laughs> you're gay. Wow. Andy, Cornell Hall, they think you suck. And you're gayer than Oscar. Boom. Roasted. Boom. Roasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. You know I kid. You know I kid. You guys are the reason that I went into the paper business. So, uh, good night. God bless. God bless America. And get home safe. Yeah. Good night.